Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We are opening up 2021 Tops Baseball Series 2. This is a jumbo box. Got this from Chase at the dugout. This product uh, has two uh, relics or memorabilia cards and one autograph in each jumbo. And then you get the gold foils and the jumbos and a few other treats on top. So let's see what we get here. I guess you're looking at 10 packs. I think it's like 46 cards a pack now. I don't know for sure. Where is it? That's something Where is different it than that? it used to be. Maybe. I don't know. I don't even. Oh, there it is. 46. I was correct. Yep. Used to be like, what, 50. Ooh, those are different. And you get your two chrome cards, which are pretty cool. That's cool. Soto and Jack Flaherty. Interesting that they're not in the wrapper or sleeve or anything, but pretty cool. They're nice looking cards. Yeah, they look nice. So let's go ahead and open up one of these silver packs real quick. We had some good luck out of these during Series 1. Pulled a Joe Adele autograph out of one. Charlie Blackman. Mitch White. Stanton. And Ryan Weathers. Yeah, that was in um, a random pack video, I it believe. Was. Yeah. Yeah, check out our random pack video from the other day. It was pretty side. pretty solid. So we got this um, from Chase at the dugout. Uh, we were we bought it on uh, release day, but uh, we weren't able to get it till a few days later, just because of some scheduling issues uh, with uh, that Chase had. So uh, great prices from Chase. Although the prices have dropped on this product pretty dramatically over the last uh, few days. So if you're looking to uh, buy some you might want to even wait longer because they might drop uh, even lower this stuff is I don't want to make any blanket statements the set itself series 2 difference between series 2 series 1 you're just not going to see the super big names in series 2 in terms of vets because um, series 1 will contain most of the big guys you do get <laughs> some bigger names in series yes. 2 but majority in series 1 got a rainbow foil of Denilson Lamette and a out of 300, so it's going well, to be an advanced, advanced stat. stat, him. Anyway, so that will uh, cause a drop in price um, and just the lack of rookies in here, really. I mean, you have Cabrian Hayes and Cabrian Hayes. Well, you have uh, Alex Kirilov. Um, you have um, Cronenworth is in here. There's, a, there's other guys for sure, but... Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of them haven't lived up to the hype yet, but hey, they have the whole second half to kill her so, off right yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, and it's Who not knows? that they haven't even lived up. There just isn't much hype in general about these guys. Um, we've been spoiled in the last couple of years with really good rookie classes, but I think you'll see this product unless someone jumps out here like it's nobody's business. You'll probably see this product settle around 140 a jumbo. Yeah, uh, probably maybe even less. Yeah, right now Blaw has them at 175, and that's like less than a week after it released, I believe. Yeah, and this stuff never really should have. It, you shouldn't have bought it at the original price, just based on the checklist. It just isn't a strong well, checklist to justify. That a is a time. statement that could be made in a regular type of collecting year yes now finally there is a dip in sports cards and finally prices are brian hayes dropping yeah and i mean some stuff baseball has been less affected by the whole crazy right year as other stuff but you're seeing prices drop for wax in every sport right now it doesn't yeah. matter what it is yep. um they are dropping so. which needs to happen because it's just out of control Kyle Hendricks. Now, some stuff should not drop, in my opinion. There's an Eric Hosmer. We've got another numbered card in here. Yeah, crazy. Joe Musgrove. That's cool. Oh, the red um, foil or foil red ice or whatever they are. Ice, kind of yeah. There and he is. And Roger Maris. Roger Maris. And then a Chris Sale. Um, Sale's coming back, by the way. Yeah, he is pretty soon here. So it's been actually a very fun baseball season so far. Yes. Um, you know, I was listening. I'm a big Tatis guy. Tatis is in the cover, so I'm going to talk about Tatis a little bit. Tatis in, like, the past 160, his, so his 162-game stat, okay? So that's a full season, except yep, right. it's combined because, obviously, they didn't have a full year last year. I think he's really only played about one he's full season. He's been injured, season. yeah. He was injured the, his rookie year, too. Yeah. Anyway, so in his last 162 games, he has, like, 52 home runs. <laughs> is batting 285, 290. 
Yeah. With 127 runs and like 118 <clears throat> RBIs or something ridiculous. Therefore, the major deal that he got yes. with the Padres. Yeah. I mean, if the guy can stay healthy, there's no doubt about it. He's Just definitely worth. one of the best players. And definitely, I forgot about him, definitely the best rookie card in this set. Um, over Cabrian right now, for sure. The way that uh, Cronenworth's numbers were, at least in the beginning of the year, he started yeah, to cool off a little to cool bit. Off. Yep. Still a very solid player. If you haven't watched the Padres, um, you don't really know how good he is until you watch him because he's a super good defender, too. So, yep. um, yeah, he's in. Too bad Grisham's hurt because they're. Uh, they have, a good, they have a really good young team that's like homegrown, pretty much. Got a little die cut here, Yastrzemski. You Darvish, yeah. very smart management. I uh, have Padres. a lot of respect for the Padres management. The Padres, um, he, uh, Darvish is on the Padres uniform in that card, so they updated some of them or at least photoshopped them. Yeah, he was a big uh, deal in the whole spider tack controversy that's been going around. Obviously, that has been pretty big. Oh, news in the uh, stickum one. Yeah, the, foreign substance. Yeah, foreign so it's called substance. spider tack. But yeah. Trevor Bauer went on, of course. Trevor Bauer is Trevor Bauer, but went on to an interview and was holding up a ball. He was holding his hand like this, and the ball was sticking to his <laughs> hand. And he said, well, this is completely legal per their rules. It's yeah. just sunscreen and rosin mixed together. Yeah, That's what a lot of pitchers use. Um, there's just a lot of different stuff like that that I think a lot of people don't realize. And then, um, what's his face? I can't remember his name now. I think he pitch, pitches for the White Sox. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm not going to say it because I don't know for sure. Um, but he came out, he got hurt right after they switched the rule because he tried pitching with no foreign substances on his baseball. Oh. So he uses like, I think he uses like some kind of something mixed with rosin too. And he blew out his elbow or part of it, like his UCL. Wasn't, and he um, blamed it on uh, the rule that came out. What, it wasn't, what's his name? They threw a no hitter last year, was it? Um, for the White Sox. I don't know. Yeah. Naylor, another numbered card, Gregory Polanco. It's cool to get this many. I haven't gotten this many numbered cards in a Series 2 box yeah. since, for a long time. But It Gregory is pretty Polanco. nice. And our first hit, Trey Turner. It's pretty cool. It's like champions. A, it's a good-looking commemorative relic. World Series champions. I like that. Trey Turner. Very good player. He is having a really good year. Trey Turner is like the guy that nobody ever talks about. And if you go look at his stats, they're very good. Very, very talented uh, guy. Probably a sneaky Hall of Fame candidate down the road here. If he his stats continues, back it up. Yeah, if he continues uh, to produce like he is. I mean, potentially. It's, I mean, you got to do that for years on end, but... Anyway, so that whole thing's interesting. A lot of the pitchers are upset because they wish that they just they're fine with they're not necessarily fine with the no substance rule, but they wish that the MLB would have not like made a rule mid season because right, they have no time right, to adjust to it. Right. Which is interesting. And I don't even know how many people would have necessarily thought right off the top of their head that all these pitchers are using some kind of foreign substance. It's just interesting. Yeah, so, no, that is very yeah, that whole controversy is very interesting. Um, always seems to be something in these sports that people are obviously trying to get an advantage, uh, you know, with. And then obviously if it's legal, like this was at the time, that they weren't necessarily cheating. They just were, um, you know, making it to their advantage. We've got Rainbow Foil, Vince Velasquez. A Marcelo Zuna. He got arrested, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he got arrested for like aggravated assault yeah, or something. Yeah, so. it's too bad. Uh, Ian Anderson. He's rookie. good. He's been yeah, good. He's been Ian, slinging. Ian Anderson's been good. The Braves have been doing pretty well. There's been a lot of decent. The Padres have been on a massive slide recently. So keep going here through the team cards. Looks like you're going to have two hits on your side. Yeah, the autograph, perhaps. We would hope so. <clears throat> we hope so. Yeah, let's go to the second half. Um, by the way, everybody, the Toronto Blue Jays were not in first place, just so you know. If you were watching the video the other night, I said they were for some reason. I had them confused with Tampa Bay, and uh, my old mind plays tricks on me. All right, see so if there's anything in here. There's a Randy Johnson. This is Silver Pack. And... Uh, Contreras, 
and a Marquez. It's kind of hard to read those cards. They're so shiny. All right, let's get into the second half of the box packs. Let's see what two hits await us here. Kind of breeze through these um, base cards, let you see them, but um, we will not spend a lot of time going through them just to speed up the video a little bit. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, looking uh, forward to hopefully meeting some of you guys at the National if you're going to be there in Chicago. And here is a gold foil. Yeah, sorry, these are not numbered. Gold foil. And then a Ken Griffey insert and a Joe Maurer insert. Um, but yeah, if you're going to the National in Chicago, definitely let us know. We will try to do some videos soon about um, our experience in Chicago and this will be what the fourth national we, we will be going to yep. so we are we're not experts by any stretch of the imagination but we do have some insight into it that if you're a beginner um, may be of help so we'll try to do a video like that in the near future I know other people are doing those type of videos yeah, especially as well. if you're not familiar with the where the actual convention center is all it's around there we've been there two times now this will be our third so yeah unfortunately i believe all the hotels that are are within walking distance are sold out so that's a real shame because that's one of the big advantages to chicago is the hotels are really close um, to the actual convention center all right so we have a bob gibson die cut and a garrett um, rookie card for the White Sox. Garrett Crotchet. Garrett Crotchet. Um, yeah, if you see anything special in any of these cards, let us know. But I believe all of the special cards are in the middle. It seems like the short prints are really hard to hit out of this stuff. Uh, I think we pulled one in retail, and that's it so far. But we've this is our first crack at hobby, so let's see if there's one in one of these jumbos or if they're just really tough to pull, which... And the, you know, they should be, I guess. They're short prints, right? Yeah, I'd rather have that than the one year in update. You got a short print in every pack. So literally in every pack, there was an SP in Jumbo. So Yeah, that was crazy. That was 2015, wasn't it? 17. Or 17. 15 was the same, though, too, yes, I think. 15 was pretty similar. Yeah. We didn't yeah. open many 15 Jumbos, though. We just no, not the Jumbos, boxes. the hobbies, right? We did really well off the hobbies. Yeah. See, I got something here. You have a relic, maybe. A relic, yep. So there's a goal or a gold a rainbow foil. And then we have speaking of which, I believe this is gonna be a short print. I've already gotten that one. The McCutcheon. Forty one is the number. Show you that in a minute. And then the Joey Bart relic, which I heard he's doing good things down in the minor leagues. That's gonna be numbered. Yeah. Yeah, it's black. Yep. Sorry, black is usually always numbered. So 199 for that one. It is not game used, player worn. So <laughs> typical nowadays for the uh, relics not to be game worn. It seems like yeah, increasingly. Very typical, which is unfortunate. But hopefully we can pull it. There's always just like any top series product. There are some crazy autographs in this set. You can so. get cut autographs. Go look at the checklist once of series one, series two. The the amount... They're like 35 page long checklists. Yeah, they're huge. The amount of things you can get out of these products is insane. Now, to pull them is very, very difficult, but you have chances to get possible. crazy stuff, which is pretty cool when you think about it, because it's just the flagship... Um, and I mean, These we, are all we've around. pulled some really decent stuff out of the jumbos before, like the, uh, what are they called? Like the all-star game nameplate patches in the name. We've yes. Got some of those. Like there's some good stuff. So this is going to be a regular gold here and a gold foil and a Bo Bichette 70th and then an Aaron Judge all-star. So last pack magic. Last Hopefully pack magic. Auto. Let's see if we can pull a big name autograph. Maybe it'll be a open up and it'll be a thick card. That'd be cool and get a patch auto. That would be cool. You do not get many patch autographs out of top series products. They're very, very difficult. All right. So, like one. by the way, the code on the back you'll see in that short print was 41. So the last two digits down there. And the regular code looks like it's 23 if I read that correctly. 
Um, so that's how you look for short prints. Uh, it's probably 41 and like 42, 43. Yeah, I don't know. That's how it goes. Yeah. It's usually like a, a couple digits off from that other one, the 41. So, all right, let's see. I thought for a minute that was our guy Randy at Rose Arena, but I can't remember. Is he in the set? I have no idea. He wasn't in series one, was he? I think he was. No, I don't think no, he was. No, I don't think he was. If so on that. He is in the inserts in the set. So yeah. let's see. Here it is. Cody Whitley is our autograph. And then we had a gold. That's not bad. Well, that's a nice one. That's a good one. Uh, Kirilov and then Cody Whitley. So anytime you get a Cardinal, it's always good. Cardinals have a huge following. Um, on card autograph, 1986 design pretty um nice card but don't know anything about cody whitley if you guys do let us know in the comments below haven't really followed the cardinals this year as to um i know they're having a good year but uh as to their rookies um other than what's his name uh who's the guy from series one Dil dylanson yeah, dylan carlson yeah, dylan carlson yeah so there's the autograph right there Cody Whitley. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next video.